Hey guys, welcome back. This is the 10th episode of the ghost type challenge. Okay, so just a little message first before we really get into it. Um, I'm actually going to be filming the rest of this series today. A uh, couple of episodes back, I put on all of my um, videos a question about what type uh, I was going to do what you guys wanted me to do next. Now, of course, I don't have many subscribers and I don't have many views, so I didn't expect to get much, but I didn't get anything at all. Um, not disappointed or anything. Uh, just letting you know that it's kind of too late at this point because I got to start breeding the team and stuff to change what I'm about to do. So um, that has ended. So just in case you guys don't know about that, just setting that out there. Um, not only that, but I'm going to try to make the next series a little bit more palatable. Um, I think these are a little too long, maybe. Um, and there's definitely some stuff where I can cut out. So, uh, if anything, I, I would like your input if you watch this video to tell me how I can make this better. I'm thinking of speeding up random trainer battles and, like, not, not cutting them out entirely, but speeding up the playthrough so that that like 30 minutes or so of grinding against random trainers and walking to the new route and searching for all the items, just kind of cut that out. And we have just the gym bad battle. Now, of course, I might skip through some of the gym battle too, but the goal is around 20 to 30 minutes for a video and... Um, one gym battle in each video my my goal is to make around 12 videos in a in in the whole set for each type so you know kind of like a season of anime and that'd be it and then i move on now that's not to say that i'm not going to come back and revisit certain types um i might do competitive videos where i you know, go online and play with that competitive team, or I might go back if they introduce more DLC after the next DLC, or when they do introduce DLC, add that DLC in. Um, but, oh, and as well, if they come out with a new game, I'm probably going to redo that uh, type team and use the new Pokemon of that region or Pokemon that I might not have had access to before. So if it's a Diamond and Pearl remake, I'll go back and redo this sort of series. Um, so I think I've covered most of what I wanted to talk about. And uh, let's just get right into it. So we're going in and we're going to get the 8th gym done today, hopefully. Um, and we're going to try to get as far as we can past the 8th gym, maybe into the Eternatus fight. Now, before we actually fight the Elite Four, I'm going to go and do the DLC. Now, depending on the run, I might change where I do the DLC. So if I'm doing like a run where I, you know, uh, need something like a move set from the DLC's uh, move tutor, I might go ahead and do the DLC early. And actually, I think doing the DLC early is more fun than doing it later, but it makes the rest of the challenge easier. So I didn't want to, it's kind of like a balance there, where I don't want to make it too easy. It's very easy to make Pokemon games, well, easy. Anyway, let's go. Well, first I should check and see if my team's actually healed up. <laughs> of course it's not. That would have been, uh, I would have been putting my foot in my mouth. Um, So yeah, I'm right now I'm working towards getting to a point where I'm comfortable editing. Um, getting that done. I just now put up a uh, a little picture for my YouTube channel, which for some odd reason it's not showing up as far as I'm aware. It's a little Master Ball um, from the actual games. I just found a someone who had screenshotted the games, which I could have done it myself, but it was easier just to Google search it. And then I put... Um, ooh, let's ball guy. Let's talk to him. I think I've already taken his balls. I grabbed him by the balls earlier. Uh, so, and then I... Um, let's see here. I don't think we want... 
draft block to swap that out. Oh, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I did do a little grinding. Got everyone up to level 50. So, um, that's why Dracoloak is, is Dracoloak. Uh, and I think this is going to be the, uh, the items that we use on everyone from now on. I'm debating who I want to start with. I'm probably going to start with Corsola. That's good. Let's go. So, uh, yes. Um... Yeah, I, uh, it's just got a little mono type master, um, mono on one side of the um, master on the other type, and then type right in the center. Uh, so I'm, I'm working on getting everything up to date, uh, trying to make sure that my YouTube channel looks more professional. Um, I'm not really doing this for views or money, I'm just doing it because I find it fun. But at the end of the day, I still want to try to make my YouTube channel as good as I could make it. So, um, we're going to be doing that. All right, guy. Get ready to go down. Do -do. Uh, is this... It's two. Okay. Okay, I'm over-leveled for this now. I didn't think I'd be over-leveled. I thought 50 would be a good base number here. Um, but now I'm over-leveled. Okay. Um, well, not much I can do about it now. So, I think what we want to do is we're going to want to use Will-O-Wisp on that guy there. And I think we're going to use Hone Claws just to get one attack boost off and increase accuracy. Okay, now he's going to be faster than me, but that's not a big deal. That won't affect Mimic you, so he's obviously aiming at Course Law. I don't think either one of these are physical attackers, so Will-O-Wisp isn't going to do much. And, of course, it also has hydration, so that does nothing. Okay. So, Mimikyu is not at all useful here. Not in the slightest, aside from being a tank of some sort. Or not Mimikyu, uh, Corsola. Corsola is not really going to be... Now, you got Shadow Claw, and that should do a decent amount of damage to Sligu. Oh, and if any of you guys are wondering what team I'm doing next, it's Ground type. So, I've actually gotten a lot of the Pokemon ready for all of the teams that I'm going to be working with. Um, so, I've already came up with eight teams. And these are the eight teams that I plan on doing before the DLC comes out, or at least the teams that I can do before the DLC comes out. Uh, okay, let's see here. That did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Um, it's Shadow Claw. Should be fine. Uh, so, yes, uh, before the DLC, I have eight teams that I want to do. And I'm doing it... I'm going to try to do it male, female, male, female, male, female. Um, and also, consequentially, sword, shield, sword, shield. All the female characters are on sword... And all the male characters are on shield, except for steel and dark type. Those two are reversed. Uh, and that was mainly because of Clara and... No, my gosh. Did he just level up? He was like level 51. Uh, so, yes. Um... So, yeah, I've got them. And, uh, of course, if you've noticed, all of my Pokemon are in themed balls... Uh, the ground type team is going to be in. I'm going to switch them up because, well, he might do a little bit better in this one. There's no point. Let's just try to. So yes, um, they're all in themed balls. So the ground type is in 
Safari Balls. Um, which I shouldn't have to explain was a pain to get um, them in those balls. Um, but I think it'll go well. It's going to be a more sand-based team. And um, let's see here. I don't think either one of those are... Um, let's just... Let's just go with it. Yeah, no one's gonna attack you, buddy. That's a first. Now, I think that um, it'll be fine. That's be fine. Let's just keep doing that. And this time we're going to go for Shadow Claw on that Turtonator. So, yes. Um, and the types that I've got planned are, I believe, Electric, Normal, Fighting, Electric, Normal, Fighting, Dark, Eventually, I'll get to, to doing that. Normal, electric, fighting, dark. Um, trying to remember them all. Obviously, we got ghost, bug, ground, and there's one more, if I can remember it. Now, the other ones all have... There's a reason why I decided that I was going to wait um, until the DLC, the second DLC, to do those. Um, and there's a, a specific reason. Um, the reason for that is that I wanted to, um, there was a Pokemon on the DLC, or at least data mined on the DLC, that it would be, um, uh, data mined on the DLC that it would be in there. Of course, technically I don't think we can take that um, a hundred percent, but I'm fairly certain it's pretty accurate. Um, so, um, like for the rock type team, I wanted to put Cradilly on there. Um, Cradilly and all the fossils prevent the rocks, uh, and that also prevents grass. Blaziken present, prevents fire. Um, Wall Rain prevents water and ice, because I want to use, uh, those guys. Let me switch my team up real quick. Because I did take a little bit of damage. Swamp out for Golurk. That'll be a little bit better. So yeah, um, long story short, those... Oh yes, Fairy was the last one. Fairy was the other one that is fine. Nothing that is Fairy type is coming up on the DLC that I want to use. So before those come out, um, we've got eight different types. And obviously we got one of them going in. Oh my gosh. Uh, snow warning. Does snow warning affect disguise? He's a fighting type. I think we will be fine using Shadow Punch on one of these two. I'm going to get Obama Snow out of the way. Uh, and, uh, I think we're good from Home Claws. So, yeah, um, definitely, boom, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. But, yes, so, so we got, um, hmm. keep on getting my th train of thought, uh, derailed we got eight types and um the next one's ground um when the dlc comes out oh poor little mimikyu what the okay there we go Shadow Claw should be fine for that bad boy. 
And it wasn't. It's the same thing. Woo! Now... Oh, I know why, because he's got Bulletproof. I think that's the ability he has, and Bulletproof prevents the ice from working on him. And I should be faster. So, there we go. Casualty 3 since 03. Uh, that's not actually true. Even though they um, are lower level than me, I'm still getting decent amount of EXP, which is nuts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me, let me heal my Pokemon up, because that was a tough battle. Okay, so we're going to go to items. Don't need any of that. Burn heal would be nice. Okay. And I've got barely any potions or anything of that nature, so... And if I do have it, it's overkill. Do we have... I mean, it almost would have been better if I let one of them die. I've got plenty of max revives. Oh, man, I don't... I don't want to use a hyper potion on Golurk. So we're just going to let Golurk be Golurk. Um, now, they are going to send out, I believe, Flygon first. So let's get Mimikyu out here. And Mimikyu and Corsola. And that should be fine to take this guy on. <sighs> He's the Instagram model. I mean, I'm guessing that's their inspiration is Instagram models because this guy is always taking selfies. Yeah, 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 yeah. I prefer to use single battles. Um, but I know that VGC normally does double battles. I've never, like, really looked into VGC doing single battles. Like, I don't think they do that. I knew it. It's gonna be Sand Stream. Now, we are gonna want to, um... We're gonna burn that boy. And we're gonna do Hone Claws. You've been taken out of the battle, Flygon. Too bad for you, I have no intention. Now, here we go. Will that break its disguise? No, it did not. So. I'm gonna go ahead and use Hex on them. And we're gonna go for another Hone Claws. Because I want Mimikyu to get as strong as he can to absolutely sweep these guys. I don't think Flygon's going to be able to do much. Although it might use Earthquake or something of that nature. Oh. Nope. Told you. I don't think it was going to do anything. So we're really worried about um, Stealth Rocks over there. Rock Blast. He did fire at Mimikyu. Now... Rock Blast is a five-turn attack, right? So is it all going to work? Yep. Okay. Okay, so we've got two attack boosts up and two accuracy boosts. Although I wish I was using Swords Dance or Bulk Up, but I don't have that yet. Okay, and Hex should get rid of Flygon. 
now we're gonna go with Shadow Claw. I'm worried. No, it has Sand Stream, so it's not gonna have Sturdy, so we'll be fine. Oh, it's it lived. Come on, decimate it. Perfect. He's going to do three this time, or four, maybe five. Apparently not. Now, we want to get rid of that Sandaconda now. Because Sandaconda's got sand spit. Well, it can have sand spit. Now, um, Mimikyu will later have Drain Punch or Leech Life, um, but unfortunately, I, again, don't have access to that yet. So, once he does, he'll be a really big heavy contender. No, not Mimikyu, man. He's my fave. Apparently that is a special attacker. Very odd choice. It occurs to me I probably should have burned, um, let's see, who are we gonna send out? I believe he's gonna send out Turtonator. I'm not positive. Let's go ahead and send out Draclo. Oh, how did I forget about this guy? Doesn't matter. We are gonna use Hex on him. Now, he's probably gonna Dynamax. And, of course, when he Dynamaxes, he's going to go straight for me. Straight for uh, this big guy here. So, we are going to go for... Hmm. Yeah, let's go for that. There's no way this guy's gonna outspeed this uh, my my Draclo. The real question is, is will it do more damage than my Draclo? Does depletion work on me? Uh, Horsel is PP. Draculok's PP was reduced. Did I just use Hex? I thought I used uh, freaking whatchamacallit.
Now we might be fine. It's gonna kill me with depletion. However, I'm gonna get a burn on it. Which means it's 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 done for. Cheap. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let Corsola finish this off and just use King Shield. <laughs> okay. We are gonna use Hex on that bad boy. And then we're gonna use um, King Shield. Yeah, we'll just just keep shield. That was a critical hit. And the battle is over. I'm counting that as a three Pokemon win. Well, actually, technically it's only, yeah, three Pokemon. I'm not counting that as I used four Pokemon. Because Aegislash just said, no! No. Bad. They should just make the Evil Light not let your Pokemon evolve. Don't touch my hand. It's unwanted sexual contact. I don't know what you did with that hand. Go away. Nobody cares. I don't want your gym uniform. Go away. looks great. I'm not saying Professor Sonia. And why couldn't she just get her a new lab coat? You know? Instead of being like, here's my lab coat. Didn't even wash it. Here you go. It's a little weird, right? Which way am I going here? There's gotta be a train station. Is the train station? Ah, over there. 
No, I'm gonna go, uh, he's probably not. Maybe he will, but probably not. Hop wouldn't ambush me. And try to get me to have a vet battle. Especially since we're gonna fight, um... Let me go. Question is, is when am I going to get access to um, Drain Punch and Leech Life and Bulk Up? And I'm guessing some of those are TRs, which I'll have to go through the Cramomatic to get. I'm debating if I should just go straight to the Isle of Armor from here, and then we'll do the the thing. Or what I should do is just go up to there, get to the point where I can do um, the League and the Eternatus thing, and then do the Isle of Armor. I kind of wish there was a, you know, a Pokemon Center, maybe? Just a little bit? Galalee? No. Oh, okay, we're good. See, I told you, you never know when you're healed or not healed in this game. I'm just gonna run. Bye bye, Kalele. See you later. Pick up this ball. Take a look at this guy. He's kind of cute. Mr. Mime's kind of evil. Hopefully, this guy's got a physical attacker because I. Oh man. Oh no. What are the chances it has synchronized? Probably pretty good if it doesn't trace my ability. Yep, it's got synchronize. Let's just go for hex anyway. It's super effective. Don't you dare! I have, it's a mandatory that I say this in every episode now, but only I am allowed to use status moves. I think I've covered this. The only person allowed to use status moves is moi. And why would you do that? Like, I get that, that that's okay, I guess. But you're going to get a little bit stronger and not going to do as much damage. But the more that you waste time, the more likely that you're going to die. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out to something that won't take a lot of damage and just let you take that hit. Watch. Go ahead, do it. Wow, all that work for that amount of damage. And dead. Mm -hmm. Go away. But you heal the damage you cause, a little... Oh, I really... Oh, I was about to say a bad word. I'm going to sneak up past him. Yeah, so, um, like I said earlier... After the next few episodes that we do, I'm going to stop showing all of the battles in each route. Um, I will still fight them, but I'm not going to, like, when I sneak around and go peekaboo, 
probably not going to do that. I'm probably only going to fight the ones that are mandatory, and we're going to cut the episode off there, and I'll do some other stuff off camera. And why did I just use hex? Wow, I did a lot of damage. And he did not a lot of damage. Huh. Oh. Is that the end or is there more? Please don't have more. I take it since I just took hail damage, he has more. Will o Wisp. You're not going to get much damage in that way. Heck, I think the hail's doing more damage. Nailed it! And that is how you heal your Pokemon up without a Pokemon Center. I'm gonna go this way and see what's going on over here. Absolutely nothing. Ah! It's seen me! I'm gonna leave you alone now. Bye. <laughs> I mean, we really don't need to fight these guys. I'm at a point where I'm a little over leveled and I still have to go through and do the Isle of Armor, so. I'm gonna go ahead and use Will-O-Wisp. Don't you be pecking me. Don't touch me with your pecker. Yeah, that's what you get for pecking me. You get your pecker burned. I'm just going to hex this guy out of existence. Ha! I think a good idea would just be to use Ancient Power. Preserve my PP. No! Only I can use status moves. I don't need my attack risen sharply. Yeah, Corsola is way too over leveled at this point. No. We have the moves I want, I'm not changing them. He's got a fly gone. 
We've already seen what happens to a Flygon when I get a when a when a Corsola gets involved. Oh boy. Come on. Yes. No. I can't afford to take two of those hits. I'm gonna have to use Sap Strength. Of course! He's like, I'm getting this guy out of here. I don't like him. He's like, oh, a fairy! Lovely! <laughs> Good job getting him out of the way. Poor little head. He's all tuckered out. I'm not entirely sure if this is the best choice, but I don't have a fairy type move, so apparently it was the best choice. Jarakluk. No. Petition. Petition for the evil light to become an item that works somewhat like the Everstone. Nope. Run, 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 run. A bottle of PP up. What is that like, uh, Viagra? Why has that guy got Viagra over there? What have you been doing in this campsite? What's in there? Oh my gosh. What has he been doing to this poor Rapidash? Or those guys. Or that. Or... There's gotta be one, two, three, four, five. Where's the six? That's my Corsola, right? What is... What is behind there? It's a more Pico! What has he been doing to these poor guys? I really think it's the uh, Rapidash that's been getting it, though. Maybe it's the Rapidash she used the PP up on. Oh my gosh, what? Oh no. I... I don't think that it's possible to take a Rapidash's horn. And... If you guys don't know what horn I'm talking about... I... It's smiling at me. I'm getting out of here. That thing's got a PP up and I'm, I'm, I'm getting out. Escape there. Nope, can't do it. It's like, <laughs> I took a PP up earlier. I'll be fine. I honestly think I'm going to have to use Sap Strength. Like, now. Hoo-wee! I've honestly never seen Sap Strength not... heal me all the way back up. And I'm wondering what's up with that.
Imagine how weird the environment would look after a Pokemon battle. Just think about that for a second. This guy is using Sandstorm, okay? In a snowy valley. Like, it's gonna have a whole bunch of sand. Where did the sand come from? Like, I can sort of understand um, Sunny Day, Rain Dance, and Hail. Like, if you cooled the air down, the water condenses in the air, you're going to get that hail. But where is the sand coming from? Right on. Okay, will o -Wisp. Now it's hailing. Oh, wonderful. Let's just get Hex out of the way. Yep. No, 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 No. I think I'm just gonna go straight for Gengar. We're, I'm, I'm gonna go for a hit hard and not give a crap. Gentleman Glenn. It's like I've got a dumb man to turn. I'm a gentleman. And uh, when I'm very hot in the summer in this suit, I take my darn Manitan's droppings. Okay. Yeah, this is just a pure ice type. We're just gonna go... Sludge Wave. Because that has more damage. I don't know who wants to learn it, but they're not learning it. Poor Gengar, he's so sad. No. Phalanx. This is a fighting type. I'm not sure if fighting resists poison. So I'm just going to use Shadow Ball. See what I'm talking about? Just hit hard. This is why Gengar is on this team. Because he hits hard. He doesn't need Nasty Plot. Although, if you give him Nasty Plot, oh boy. Let's see here. Another fighting type. Oh, Sludge Wave is effective. Okay. Okay. After watching One Piece, I'm kind of thinking, you know, fighting types would be resistant to poison, right? You know? Because how many times has Luffy gotten poisoned? He would definitely be a fighting type. I mean, let's be real here. How did I do that for? Uh, okay. We're going to go for another powerful little mod there. Dracloak is actually probably m close to being my strongest. He's definitely my fastest. Um, and when he evolves, he will definitely be my strongest. Okay, so they've got four Pokemon, I think? Sludge Wave will hit both. Oh! 
Nice. Uh, and um, the only one I think that's going to not die is that steel type over there. Because he's a steel type. Yeah, we'll do that. Dagnabbit. Jeez! How lucky can you be? Die. Like, I'm pretty sure Thunder does not have good accuracy. Plus, there's only like a, what, 15% chance to paralyze? He got really lucky with that Thunder. But not lucky enough to kill. Well, that's not luck, that's just their weak. Okay. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, now it's a one on one fight. Or two on one. I'm just going to go ahead and use Snado Shadow Sneak. I think I've been using this guy all wrong. <laughs> to think a Shadow Sneak would do that amount of damage <laughs> without the Swords Dance. I've been stockpiling Swords Dance before I use Shadow Sneak. I might not even need to use one. Okay, and now we're home free, and for some odd reason, I feel I'm going to get ambushed. I didn't get ambushed. Let's take out my bike. Heal at the Pokemon Center, and I suppose that we will call it a day. Well, not actually a day. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm filming all of them, uh, the rest of the series today. So, it's just a day for me. Uh, for you guys, it'll be on Wednesday. I've actually got a doctor's appointment on Wednesday. This kind of sucks. Yes. Getting an MRI on my knee. I'm wondering if when they do the MRI, if they're going to do the whole thing. Not just my knee, but like all of my body. So then I'd be like... Show everyone the pictures of my brain and be like, look at my brain, it's sexy. <laughs> Get to the station. Set up right there. 
We're going to save the game. So tomorrow, I'm going to see you. Or not tomorrow. Wednesday, I'm going to see you guys. On the Isle of Armor DLC. That's what I'm going to go and do next. So that's what we're headed next. I'll probably do a little bit of stuff off camera. But I will see you guys then. Okay.